Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I'm Big B. I got the Oxteen Marine Dominator on the block. I'm actually prepping this boat up for a saw pass. I just installed uh, the XLX2 Hydra. Same motor I've been running, that 2080 kV CM motor. Uh, I just greased it, okay? What I do before I take a boat out for a saw pass, all right? I guess uh, the most important part is greasing the cable, make sure everything works, you know. Uh, before you go for a saw, you wanna make sure you got a good tune on the boat, okay, good tune. I always check over my stinger, I always check over my trim tabs, I make sure that the uh, trim tab adjusters are set on the trim tabs and they hadn't like shuffled around, you know, make sure you got the nuts on there tight so that they don't back off or, spin the the trim tab down okay so always check my always check my tune okay first thing i do all right uh for speed i always make sure my grub screw is flush with the drive dog and not like protruding past the, the drive dog i feel that's pretty important also f feel like uh rounding the front of your drive dog even if it's even if you have a thrust washer right here, I always like, I don't know, I just feel like any sharp edges sticking past the, the stinger will just slow you down. You know, make sure everything's nice and smooth for water to travel across. Uh, turn fins, I always sharpen them. <laughs> if I'm like really trying for speed, I always like hit them with my, with, with this um, scissor sharpening tool. Always run across it a couple times. I always run it across my rudder a couple times, okay? Before I pass, I always buff my, 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 my turn fins, which in a straight, these turn fins aren't in the water much, only the tip, and I actually run them. I run them down so that the tip is in the water to keep it, keep the boat flat. All right, I use them as the tip of my turn fin as a vertical stabilizer. So I always make sure I have them set right. And I always make sure I have them polished. I use Never Dull on all my hardware. All right, I always polish everything up. I always hit my rudder, especially after I hit it with that, that file. I actually take some uh, 5,000 grit here and just kind of buff up that leading edge of my rudder all right i always make sure the bottom of my rudder is kind of 45 not sharp down there i usually round off the tip of my, my rudder right here not every run but something i do and i polish the hell out of it i also polish my stinger Anything in contact or below the water needs to be polished up and smooth, sharp. All right, I hit my my um, my trim tabs with the Never Dull. It's like a yeah. I mean, you could probably get them shinier with a buffer, but I, I use this Never Dull, and it's been it works pretty good. You know, it works pretty good. I don't put too much pressure on it, so I don't bend my trim tabs out of place or uh, disform them okay I always well I, not every run but I always make sure the back of my trim tabs has a nice break on it you can either use a, a hobby file or a diamond file or something like this this is a Fiskars scissors tool sharpener make sure it has a, a nice break water breaks off of it and don't suck the boat down same thing on this one make sure you got a good break there okay um one thing i always do which i think and feel is very important i don't know i don't know if it's important but i've been doing this for know, a couple years now magic eraser and I, I go across the bottom of my boat long ways with a magic eraser. A 
leaves little microscopic scuffs all over it. It don't like rough the boat up. It don't sand or like, I don't know, you can kind of see what it does. It's like, it like just scuffs the bottom. It don't, it don't shine it. It don't make it really like, like dull or rough, but it, it gives it the perfect finish so it don't suck down to the water and I've been doing this to my polycarbonate holes before I do a speed pass I do it to my fiberglass and my carbon fiber holes all my boats are all my boats are hit with a magic eraser all of them every one of them Except for my oxy digger, it's wood, so I just use sandpaper for it. So this boat right here, it's not blueprinted. I did blueprint the ride pad. It's flat. Like um, it had a dip in it. It had a dip like right here, and I, I sanded that dip out. The ride pad's flat, but as long as you got the ride pad flat on this boat right here like in a straight line that's all that matters that's all that's in the freaking water you feel me so um i got all my hardware polished all right make sure all my hardware is tight um i got my receiver bloomed up which i actually gonna start doing to all my all my boats that i run at the speed run spot i'm gonna start ballooning everything <sighs> I put a, a long strap in here. I got the two little straps, side straps, and then I got a long way strap to try to keep my batteries in place. Okay. I really, I really use this never dull. I use it on all my boats, and um, I, sp I actually spend some time on it. I mean, you can't really tell it, but uh, and I, and I, like I said, I bet I can get a better finish if I were to just throw it on the buffer out there. The buffing wheel with some compound, but um, this is what I do before every run, like high speed run, when I'm trying to lay down a good number, you know, make sure everything's sharp, man, make sure my tune's on the money, I'll, I'll like double, triple, quadruple check it, you know, so a lot of times I'll actually uh, hit it with some turtle wax, <laughs> just some old turtle wax, keep the keep the shine going on my on my holes you know i usually don't show you guys this this aspect because i figure i mean who who wants to see somebody wax a boat <laughs> yeah. you know i don't show you guys all this stuff who wants to see somebody sit there and polish hardware and like you know <laughs> i usually don't show you guys all this Well, we lost our window, I believe, man. The wind's picked up. Start tracking. Yep, we lost our window. Nice weather. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we lost our window. We lost our window, boys. Eighty five. <laughs> Eighty five a quick rip in the rough. Let's go. Yep, eighty five real quick like. One more quick pass. That didn't sound good. <sighs> no, 
No, we hit something. No. no. <laughs> oh, man. How the hell? Oh, that makes me sick, man. Oh. Damn, that makes me sick to my freaking stomach, man. <sighs> Golly, one of my favorite props, and it's hard to find that prop. Mm, 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 mm. That makes me sick right there, boy. Mm.